what's going on youtube we are back with another gameplay madden 22 ultimate team we are going to be playing k mac friday night football finals basically if you don't know what friday night footballs are they are a weekly tournament held by mutthead great website that you know we all check our mutt cards out on and all that good stuff build our lineups on fifth round final round versus k mac and you know winner of this gets a thousand dollars so best believe i was super locked in you know and if we win this we win back to back friday night footballs which is you know a pretty tough accomplishment man and that's you know two racks in our pocket great way to start off 2022 so hopefully you guys enjoy this game because i'm gonna be doing a post com obviously k mac was running a little off meta he was running wide on defense which everyone runs wide on offense you'll see what he's running man and he had a titans theme team pretty cheesy with derrick henry 98 speed i won't lie but you know check out k mac's channel it was a great game shout out to k mac for his daily uploads and all that good stuff but enough chit chat and let's get into the gameplay if you guys want more gameplays like this 125 likes and i got you see you guys we are going to be playing TGL KMAC right here. And, um, you know, I still have my Seahawks 50 theme team. He's going to be rocking his Titans 50 theme team. And, you know, Titans is the theme team I've definitely looked at, you know, with Madden Bowl coming up very soon. I want the best team possible, you know, the best players at each position. As you see right here, KMAC's going to start early with a nice crosser dot. But unfortunately for him, he was out of bounds. And KMAC is, you know, he runs off meta on offense all the time, whether it be spread sets, gun sets like this as right here great low ball not even a low ball it might have been a low ball i'm not too sure but that was a great possession catch animation um and he's trying to go up top i'm not too sure if he had gunslinger on or pass lead elite but that is one thing derrick henry is not the greatest at is you know those deep passes those deep posts he has a crazy wind up i see right here we are screaming with Hassan reddick and we almost get the sack derrick henry's almost you know virtually unsackable unsackable you know it's so tough to sack that dude even tackle him for that matter of fact um and you know right here he throws another dot and you know that's he's gotten cheated three times so far i wouldn't say you know they're cheats but you know with derrick henry i don't like i said i don't know if it was gunslinger passy delete those passes are definitely tough um on the run but you know he still should have got his feet in bounds three different times um and you know so far so good for him he's had a nice drive right here we play good defense he throws the ball away and you will be seeing a lot of coverage from me and of course i say that i'm gonna click on and take that ball for my, for me for mine that's my ball coach we clip it because that was such a nasty click on go rewatch that if you have to jordan whitehead a little beep beep click on snag that but you know it really doesn't matter you know why it doesn't matter because we are going to give him the ball right back and his match went crazy right there. Um, you know, honestly, sometimes you are able to throw that versus match, but I don't have no type of deep out elite, route check, any type of ability on this outside, which definitely sucks, man. With a new AP update, I don't have that many abilities. But, you know, I'm not going to complain. Escape artist is so tough to stop. Um, for me, for my opponents, it's so tough to stop. I'm really, like I said, not going to complain that I don't have extra abilities to get open or whatever it may be. Because, honestly, at the end of the day, you know, escape artist should be enough. Right here... He uh, hits the flat, doesn't really get too many yards. Great tackling by Rich, Richard Sherman. Um, and, you know, he was a little wild right there, man. Like, I'm not calling him wild. That's an open, good read. But the thing is, like, after I just got a nice click on, see right here, just that wasn't the read at all. He threw a book right there. Um, after, he, after I got a nice click on like that, I definitely would have been hesitant to go back to that side. And right there, K-Mac just forces something. Um, I, I, and at the beginning of this game, I could definitely tell, you know, he didn't, you know, have the best red zone. Um, and we go up top right here. I was so hyped when I got that. Um, I was listening to Super Gremlin locked in off stream. And there goes Jerry Rice for the 98 yard touchdown. But want to say that was, I, I didn't even check where I was at. Um, it definitely was like a 90 plus yard touchdown set up by Sean Springs interception. And, you know, that's just how you want to start off. I wish I could have started off better because it could have potentially been a 14-point game at this point as Jared Cook is just going to kind of shit on us right there. I'm not going to lie. He had great stick work. Jared Cook was a Titan, Titan seam team, I believe, at what, 95 speed. Um, right here, you know, he just takes off with Derrick Henry, something he should have done a lot more when I played that type of coverage defense is he should have just taken off. And, you know, right there, just a three-play great drive. Kind of dictated by Jared Cook. I mean, Jared Cook took over that drive. And, you know, just a great bounce back drive. You know, you throw a couple picks in the red zone. Um, and you don't even got to worry about that, you know, when you score scoring first down and goal. So, 
Great drive, but the thing is for him, I get ball at half. So, you know, you see me right here get into kind of like a clock mode early. Say what you want, man. It's a thousand dollars on the line. I really could care less. Oh, you run the ball, you chew clock, oh, you do this and that. If you could stop it, great. You know, I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass you right here. We are gonna go for a pass. A couple things open, which includes a Devin Hester bomb. Absolute mega bomb. I think that was DK Metcalf for him. Um, I think that DK is only 97 speed, right? On a tie-in steam team. And we put in Sean Alexander right there because Adrian Peterson was tired. Who we are going to go back to. And he gets it done. And you know, Adrian Peterson's never really been that catching guy. So I'm kind of always hesitant when I go throw to him. But you know, we have a team of the year. Raiders 50 theme team now. Cordero Patterson, Kenyon Drake. Those guys I could trust for my life to catch a football. So um you know be on the lookout for some team updates and this gameplay like i said i was rocking the seahawks 50 this was last friday i'm recording this on a tuesday now i'm not too sure when you guys will be seeing this but you know we go in chronological order so if you watch the fancy gameplay i kind of you know talked about you know what theme team i'm rocking and all that types of stuff so you know if you haven't watched that fancy gameplay friday night football go check it out it was round three of this same tournament um and you know right here kmax actually in a very very good spot to tie this game up and the thing is, I should have called the timeout right here. I think I do. The thing is for him, it is that, you know, I get ball a half, but, you know, if he scores, it's pretty much square one, except, you know, I get ball a half. And right there, just a great thought. I ran cover four, had tens on the field. He just got a nice amount of time. Um, right here, he had R1 open, man. He had R1 open for a touchdown, it throws it out of bounds. And this sequence is going to be crucial and brutal, whatever you want to call it um great tackle i felt like i was there and i just wasn't like i thought i had adjustment we come in clean with a user rush we dive at him we miss we dive at him again and he throws the ball away and this is a play of the game cheat him game cheat him and i was like you know i felt bad i always kind of do feel bad when someone gets cheated but you know he 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 reps that tgl and he didn't get lucky so is that false advertisement like i'm the one getting lucky right now i'm the one that's getting lucky right now so you know i i don't know if i could feel too bad he's a part of tgl you know that's what he reps and we the one getting lucky so i mean all it's all fun and jokes that was pretty brutal honestly it, he could have tied the game up but now he's in a not so good spot but it doesn't matter because i just throw an absolute book i was kind of tripping this game i'm not gonna lie playing like four straight madden games i guess you could call it five now in this one um you know i was pretty tired that day um, it was late already. I've been playing all day. I was I went to the gym earlier. So, you know, I wasn't definitely on a 100% mode right here, um, especially on offense. I, was, I feel like I was playing good defense, even if he was moving. I think <laughs> I'd say I was playing good defense. And my man, my guy has, you know, went to the goal line, the red zone, all what, like four or five drives. I think it's four drives at this point. I don't think it's five. But, you know, I, I thought I was playing good defense. You know, at least I was making him work for it. That's what I want to say. And maybe a lot of my brain power was going to the defensive side of the ball rather than the offensive side of the ball. So you see right here, we are going to be running the ball um, at least to try to get to a hash, which we honestly fail at doing. Right there, Adrian Peterson gets the ball instantaneously. K-Mac played great coverage. Uh, he ran a lot of match. He blitzed a ton. And, you know, he honestly played great defense. And uh, there's a reason he made the finals. Uh, which I want to say is, you know, he was playing good defense. That and, you know, a 98 speed Derrick Henry is nothing to play around with. Um, right here, we honestly maybe could have had the post if he didn't get bumped, but it doesn't matter. Big, crucial fourth down. We get a, you know, that's open. You know, that, that, that animation makes it seem like it was lucky, but we all know. I mean, maybe we don't all know, but if you catch it, like that was supposed to be a catch. I just got a weird animation and he got suctioned into a you know possession catch i don't know what if his golden tates hide or whatever it was but you know i mean i threw an open pass i didn't get a you know like a great animation it looks so weird i don't know what to say about that if you if you think i was lucky then i i guess that it's lucky you know i guess it's lucky but you know we end up scoring right there seven point game 456 left in the game and k mac is in the middle of the field um, we play all right defense once more another overthrow. That's Derrick Henry's specialty on the run is he loves to overthrow some stuff Actually really good defense in my opinion right there. He ends up throwing the ball away Which is like I said, it's so hard to tackle slash sack Henry right here 
terrible terrible user man like sometimes i feel like i have acrobat on my user i think i have it on my user i don't i really don't have acrobat on my user so that's definitely on me i could have lurked that right there end of the game right then and there um ck mac right here three minutes left 50 seconds and he is gonna throw a dot i think that was calvin um i'm not too sure and you know right here he throws another dot and he was killing me with these with these uh with these tight end wheel rods forgive me i forgot how to speak english right there but jared cook was torching me all game long whether it be a drag a post a wheel route i had nothing to defend him um and if i said an in route i meant a wheel route i don't know if i said in route but you know we are in clock mode right here just a second and nine easy playmaker dot we could have maybe clocked this but that was just too much of a you know big play to clock him and you know we're just gonna score a touchdown because you know one thing leads to another in the red zone and you are looking at a fourth and like 15 we all know how i feel about field goals in this game so that's how i just felt you know just score the touchdown there was a chance i was gonna be able to clock that but you know it's all good let, just let him go down try to score and you know what he does he throws a post wide open which is honestly fine for me it's gonna be kind of tough to clock this especially with that you know big post that he got um right here you know he kind of misplays it he ends up going down at the two so i mean i don't know if he was trying to clock but he definitely misplayed that entirely and at this point you know it's kind of just full send you know like sure i can maybe take another time out but you know we're gonna have to buckle up and go to war and play a little bit of defense that's probably what k-mac was thinking you know he played good you know good defense he got two interceptions on me which is uh, more than you know i'd be getting in a game and a more than you know is enough in madden 22 so we actually get screamed at sack right there had an open player he sent the heat he made a nice adjustment some more match coverage right there and we had r1 open but guess what jalen hurts is you know i got this man i got this pop let me take this down to the 46 and at this point i really do need like only a few more yards i should have i don't know why i didn't throw the in route the in route was open super open but you know we, for some reason we don't throw that in route and we take a terrible sack so you know back to back you know just questionable things but it's all good we ice up a little bit throw a tight end post and we are easily in field goal range with the new morton anderson we have like a waste play we have a lot of time um because we we're out of bounds so what we end up doing actually is just calling a play we we're gonna throw it out of bounds you know if, if they would have given us intentional grounding then i don't know man i probably misplayed it um i should have had a flat somewhere but you know he ends up running like shade underneath man and we have an open wheel route so we just take the touchdown and there's no way i was gonna be able to fall down and you know stop the clock and all that so we end up scoring and look at that one second turn into the ball game that second definitely went by a little fast for k-mac i know he's a little frustrated about that because you know he could have had one extra play but you know there it is man we ended up winning our second friday night football of the year you know those fnf championships are nothing to play around with they could lead into greater success greater momentum trust me i will be taking that and using it all when i play zombies in the madam world hopefully you guys enjoy that gameplay if you want more comp gameplays like that smash that like button 125 likes is what i'm asking for from each and every video here on out please help me grow and you know i got you man i'm gonna be back with the tip tuesdays the free money plays, the free defenses, all that type of stuff. Ebook will be dropping soon as well. Just wait for me and I got you guys. I gotta stay locked in and focused and you know, I know you know I got this and you know, I gotta do what I gotta do. So enough talking, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Pushing P and we signing out.